Hi everyone, uh, welcome to episode seven. Let's take a quick look at what happened in stage three. This is Dakar. It's the longest race in the world. It's completely crazy, but we love it. Dakar. Yeah, well, it was a rough day. It was a long day for sure. Um, I've done Dakar twice before and I've never been thrown in in such hard stages as we've had today. It was a pretty brutal stage. Um, but that's what it's about, you know. It's about challenging the competitors and for sure it's going to do that. Um, overall, I had a good day. The first 80 kilometres, unfortunately, I filled my bike up with fuel last night, so I had a full tank of gas, 32 litres. I only needed probably 10 litres or something. So that was a bit of a mistake on my part. So I just took it steady because the bike was heavy. And then um, after the fueling stop in the second part of the stage, uh, I took it a little bit easy to start with, um, but then opened it up in the middle part of the stage um, and made some good progress. And then just started to get a bit tired towards the end. And I knew that because I had a little fall, just a little get off. And then I blew through one of the steep drops. So I ended up cartwheeling the bike down a dune, which is really unlike me. And uh, from that point, I just said, okay, now is the time just to take it steady. 30 kilometers to go, get to the finish and uh, have a successful day. So I'm pretty pleased with how it went. And uh, I'm already look just looking forward to getting the work done on the bike and uh, get some rest tonight because I think it, one of the most important things for me is going to be sleeping well, eating well uh, and keeping myself showered and clean this year. <laughs> today so I'm just gonna get a ride what's your name Max, Max. I'm gonna get a ride with Max to the safety center 
to go and uh, fix my small track. OK, I'm ready. Master Max. <laughs> I lost my ride, man. I got to walk back. New small track. Party time. Again, road book time. All right, here we are in the bivouac, end of day three, Dakar 2018. Just about to go to bed. It's just gone 10 o'clock p.m. Uh, I need to get to bed because I need to get up at about four. Um, just wanted to do a quick summary about where we are really on the rally and what we've seen so far. I mean, yesterday's stage it was like a junkyard in the desert. It was uh, crazy. There was bits of bodywork everywhere, um, cars on the roof, cars stuck in holes, bikes all over the place. It was really crazy. And uh, today was pretty much the same, only that the cars weren't in front of us, so we didn't see the carnage in the cars. But there was bikes going the wrong way towards each other, people searching for waypoints. Uh, it was a really tough stage navigation and physically as well. It was a uh, beautiful stage though, a real proper desert racing stage. I mean, it was all off piste the whole day. There was no, very few tracks, very few roads or anything. It was just all off piste. Uh, I'm doing my best, doing my bit. I've got another big day tomorrow, 330 kilometer stage, and it's a mass start tomorrow. So tomorrow, 15 bikes, five cars, and two trucks at a time. So it's gonna be bedlam going into the first turn. Everyone's gonna be trying to get there first, and we've gotta watch out for the cars and trucks as well. I don't particularly like the thought of a Camaz coming up behind me. Anyway, I'm gonna go get some sleep. I'll sign off from here from day three, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. stiff this morning. <laughs> could sleep there. Just could do with a couple more hours. It's like quarter past four. <laughs> quarter past four in the morning. <sighs> um, time to go get something to eat now uh, while I've still got my casual clothes on and then uh, get my riding gear on, load my road book up and uh, be out. And It's a mass start this morning so that's going to be really interesting. <laughs> So yeah, get ourselves together and uh, get off. Let's go and wake Rex up. Tell him it's time to get up. <laughs> 